All right, hello everybody, and welcome to uh, another episode of Everything on Keyboard. And I'm just gonna let you know after I finish this, I think I'm gonna be done with Descenders. So um, I don't know what's gonna come of the channel. Um, it's up to you, really, if you want to continue watching the non-descenders content. I'd like you to, but I know it's not for everyone. Uh, we're going to make everything sort of green again, um, because of the fact that we're going with Arboreal. Uh, is there a better helmet I can use? Not really, I don't think there is. There's not a, There's not that many cool green helmets. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, that's actually quite cool. I think I might go with that, actually. It looks like grass to me, just because of the, like, it's green straight lines, which reminds me of blades of grass. Um, and then we're going to take this off. What can we put on that's green? Let's maybe put the green mohawk on, actually. Oh, I could put the toxic mask on. Green mohawk or toxic mask is the question of the day. I think I'm going to stick with the mohawk for now. Goggles, uh, they can be green. Um, and then we're going to go for t-shirt. And um, we're going to make that... No. Um, I don't like the Rascal jersey, though. This is weird. The rest of the stuff is cool, but this is really weird. I can't even zoom out. It is strange. It is a bit of a weird design. Um, I, I, I did want to actually wear that at one point, uh, which I'd never bothered doing at the end. And then for the bottoms, I guess we put some green ones on, and then we put the green trail on as well. There we go. Right, 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 right. Now we're looking for... Uh, sponsor nodes again. We're doing that again because we've got to go and get ourselves an arboreal sponsor for the last sponsor of the game. Yeah, um, after I'm done with this, uh, I think I'm just going to not do Descenders anymore. Um, there's nothing that I can think of that would really be that entertaining and I'm really, I'm kind of sick of playing the game at this point. After playing it for like almost five years I think it's been now, it's um, it's, it's kind of, I'm burnt out on it and I don't really want to uh, be playing it anymore. Um, and then I'll just be making whatever other video, if you want to stick around, stick around, if not, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, it's just how it's going to be. So I don't know what I'm going to do instead. Or how the schedule is going to go instead, because um, it's really easy to make these as a, a daily thing. But uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do that anymore. And I don't know what game to play, in so it, just because there's not really many good games. I'm kind of looking forward to um, Night Runners when that comes out. Uh, I don't, I, it's like a racing game. Uh, it looks really cool. I really want to play it. And I'm just waiting on that, really going for it to come out so I can make videos on it because it looks really really good and I really want to spend a lot of the time playing it. It, it it's just it's like one of those games where they, you can see someone's put their heart and soul into it and the UI design is usually where I see whether someone's put their heart and soul into it and it looks very good he's he's vibed out on whoever's however it's been made and it looks great so I can't wait to play that that's what I'm after I think that's what I'm going to try and make my next mainstay game because uh, it just looks awesome so yeah Hey, I'll take that one. I should have used Scout Nodes. I don't ever need that, but uh, why not? Should have just taken Scout Nodes. I guess let's go... I kind of want to see both of them, actually, so I'm going to do this one instead. Okay, so it's none... that's going to be the construction park, because there's eight people in it. So I know it won't be around there, so it's a good idea that I should start going down instead. I wonder when Rage Squid's next game will be. I know they said that, they are like, on Christmas Day, they posted a photo on their Instagram. And they said something's in the works, and obviously they're taking a little Christmas break, that's fair enough. You do, that, that's literally deserved. If you're making a game, man, you need a break every now and again. So yeah, um, they're working on another game, um, I don't know what it'll be like. I wonder if they'll ask me to play it. That's genuinely something I do wonder about. Because they've, they've messaged me beforehand on this, uh, on a live stream once before. That was quite cool. Um, but, I don't know. Like, I'd like to give it a go. Uh, I like the, I like this game, I think Action Hank's cool um yeah i don't know i mean this game pretty much changed my life for a couple of years i got to do this as a job for a couple of years that was pretty sweet so i hope i get to check it out i mean i'll check it out anyway just because it's another rage word game but i do wonder what it's going to be like somebody says it's like spelunking on bikes and i don't get how that's gonna work like i sort of understand how it would work but also don't at the same time and 
It's not Descenders 2, it's like something completely different. It's its own separate game, it just happens to be on a bike. I think they nailed how to make a bike sim. Well, not like a sim, but you know what I mean. Like This is, a, this is very good for a, a mountain bike riding. Even bloody Riders Republic isn't even this good. Uh, so I, I wonder what it'll be like. I'm, I'm looking forward to being able to see what it's like and try it. I think it's going to be cool. Just because every time I... Because I don't do this so often. How does this work again? I just need three of them and then I can go in. I don't need to do all of them, right? I can't remember. So I swear at one point you had to do all of them. But... Oh, I don't know why I've done this. I want to be doing arboreal nodes in the Highlands because it's so much simpler. Oh, let me go into here and quit out. I, I don't want to... Ah, uh, no, we'll go for it. We'll go for it. One of them will do it. Why not? This isn't, a, this isn't even a mini bush hunt, mate. This is a normal ramp in this area. An actual normal ramp. It is here more than anything in the world. Oh, this person is on my tail. This person is following me around. Meow Lisa. Cool. I mean, it's nice to actually be able to ride with someone in this game. I mean, they're, they're not really riding with me, but it's still cool that there's someone also, like, in the lobby with you. Because it doesn't ha happen very often. Even when Descenders just pop in, this never happened this often. Like, you would rarely ever get anybody outside the Highlands. There was a lot more, but there definitely wasn't that many people inside of the other areas. Even the desert and stuff like that. I suppose the desert is the only other place where you get a lot of people. I, I don't know if that's down to me or down to uh, just people farming in general. Maybe they would have figured it out in a different way. But that is the only other place. The start of the career plus and the start of the career are the only places that you ever find loads of people. And then obviously bike parks are a full... 90% of the time, but only if they're good bike parks, like only if like people like them. Should probably make, well, um, what is it, Ice Age said to make a, what do you call it, a tier list video on all of the bike parks, so if you're interested in seeing that, let me know, I'll make it. It's going to have some controversial opinions in there, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go and see what people think. <laughs> I still can't believe this was. This used to be the default cam. Maybe I was wrong. I swear this used to be the default cam from where you very first got into this game. This was the default camera. And it was really awkward to learn how to play the game like this. I, it frustrated me so much because sometimes I couldn't see what was up next. Like, I can't see how big the drop is and stuff due to this camera. But like I, I'm pretty sure at one point this used to be the default cam. It makes sense, but it makes sense for a game like Skate where you want to see what your skateboard is doing with his feet and doing the tricks and stuff not where if you're riding is not really the main thing and if you play in high cam on any of the skate games first of all you're cringe that is that is the lamest thing i think i've ever heard of in my entire life high cam players do you not want to see the sick tricks that's going on no i want to do speed glitch please i want to do the thing that's not even part of the game oh where are you hiding here or over here i mean i want to check it just in case because you never know with this game sometimes it's like yeah i'll hide it behind the bush jump and then sometimes it's like i'm just tricking you it's somewhere else instead oh so fun so fun oh, even this the drone camera i guess it's like a drone it's sort of an extra zoomed out um standard cam that's got a bit of delay on it and this bowl camera is a bit weird. I get that you made it so you could ride the bowls in the game. But in standard cam, it's not really even that bad. This is just a really awkward camera angle, if, in my opinion. It kind of takes away from the action as well, of how sick your tricks are. Hey, it was up here. I was right. No way. And I'm not looking forward to doing this. Well, I think the canyons is one of the weirdest areas to do this in. Because of how it forms is really diff is odd. Like, look, what what is this? And how, do, if you go on the wrong side of this, how do you get round it, is my other question. Like, I know I've got to now go over there, so you've got to play it. This is probably one of the more tricky ones, because you really do have to pay, play it careful and be a bit more attentive on what you have to do. I understand where arboreal riders would ride this, like, 24-7. It's quite fun, because it's something different, but it is just insane. Especially when it catches you off guard and you're not ready for it. This becomes really difficult to ride, but... Especially for new people. I can't imagine being new to this game and trying to ride this. Because a lot of you don't even want to use your own brakes, let alone anything else. So, maneuvering and sliding and tweaking to making sure you're taking the best path down. It's got to be one of the harder things to do. But I don't see the finish line anywhere, which is not nice. That's not good. That's okay. Whoa, that was a bit too close for comfort, I can't lie. Did not need that to happen. Okay, we're good, we're good. 
is that the fi the finish line isn't down here oh it's over there oh I've ridden too far down now it's up here Yep, and you got to lean forward to make it out. I wonder how many people didn't figure that out for a long time. Leaning forward allows you to climb. Bush. Oh. There we go. That's that one done. So I go in, quit out, and go and find another. Riding off the road. Yeah, this one isn't too bad. This is why I like doing it. It's so straightforward. It's so nice and smooth. Here we go. Look. Oh, there's actually somebody accidentally also in here. Is this guy stopped? Where the hell are you? Are you at the finish line? Is he riding away now? He is. I wonder if I can catch him. Oh, I can. What's up, dude? Ooh. I don't know if that's custom gear or he's just bad. Okay, maybe he's... He, no, nah, not bad, but like new to the game. He's He's got the little hat. He's crashed into that. To be fair, I didn't know there was going to be a rock there. <laughs> no, he's gone the wrong way. Well done. He's not even following the compass, is he? <laughs> oh, some people, man. I feel bad for them. Right, we've got the contract that we're after, which is good. Now we've got to turn our flavor text green. Not our flavor text, but you know, active rep. That's going green, baby. Are you ready? Look. Oh, sponsor office. Yes, please. I'll sign that. Lex. Bow. Yeah, sure. <gasps> no way. <gasps> No, they look kind of weird, man. They are not very good shorts. <laughs> oh, at least we've got, at least we've got a team now, yeah. We've got a team. Thank you all very much for watching, and thank you very much to my money havers, Andrew Grimm, Luna, Olam, Susie, Will, and Warren. Thank you ever so much for supporting the channel. It really does mean the world to me. If you'd like to become a money haver as well, please do press the join button below. Subscribe for more of this stuff, and I'll see you a lot later. Goodbye.